on to the pros of the Focus ST. It is definitely one of the best front wheel drive cars made in the US. And in my book, the funnest car to drive for $25,000, brand new. Compared to the WRX, the Focus ST has similar power figures. However, the balance and playful rear ends of the Focus ST outweighs the superior all-wheel drive traction of the WRX. Moving on to the seats of the Focus ST, the ST2 package comes with Recaro seats which are partial leather and partial cloth. The bolsters on these seats are excellent and grab your body well when turning into corners. Moving on to the power plant of the Focus ST, it has a 4 cylinder 2.0 liter turbocharged engine. This is good for 252 horsepower at 5500 RPMs and 270 pound feet of torque at 2500 RPMs. Another pro to this car is the tunability. Honestly, when you can make your car look however you want it to, make it sound like however you want it to, and make the power that you specifically want, that's really the nice part about this aspect of the car. There is a plethora of different aftermarket parts for the Focus ST. And I'd like to begin by talking about the Cobb Stage 1, 2, and 3 packages. Cobb also does dynographs and runs them and posts them on their website, which gives you the data that you would actually want to see before purchasing parts. So let's move on to the fun part, Stage 1. Stage 1 is the budget-friendly package, which comes with an access port, rear motor mount, and high-flow filter. This gives you an extra 66 pound-feet of torque, which costs about $10 per pound-feet of torque. Stage 2 is all of the aforementioned parts, as well as the front mount intercooler with the charge pipes, cold air intake, and this gives you an extra 10 horsepower and the same torque figure. And finally, Stage 3, which includes the downpipe and catback in addition to stage 1 and stage 2 parts. This gives you an extra 25 horsepower and gives you the same 66 pound-feet of torque from stage 1. The Focus ST doesn't allow different steering modes such as sport, track, and comfort, but it does allow you to turn off the traction control and fully turn off the electronic stability control. I'm actually a big fan of the navigation system. You get a lot of complaints about Ford Sync with the responsiveness, but I mainly use it for the navigation feature. Please say a command. Find an address. In Illinois, say the street address including the city. 820 Widener Road, Buffalo Grove. When ready, press the voice button and then say set as destination, or say change something. And it's as simple as that. I'm actually a big fan of the Sony sound system. There have been some complaints about the actual sound quality. However, I believe this is just because of the radio sound instead of actually playing your own MP3s on a USB drive. Another little perk is having a full-size tire instead of one of those little donuts. The overall smiles per gallon rating is pretty high on this car, and I average about 23.6 mostly driving in the city. The Focus ST comes with auto up and auto down for all four windows. The Focus ST allows you to put regular, mid-grade, or premium gas into your fuel tank. This is a good option in the colder seasons when you don't need nearly as much power. 